Hi, I'm John Twist. I've been gone for a week in uh, California, which is why we haven't posted anything on YouTube over the past week. But today, I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves on a, a T-type, although the way that we adjust the valves will be, will be uh, the same T-type or midget or MGA or MGB. Let's take a look at the tools that we're going to need. Now let's take a look at these tools here. We need a screwdriver with a big, big outside diameter so you can grab it, good end on it. The best is an offset wrench. Aren't these nice? But of course on our T-type, it has to be 5 16 British, and uh, so we, we can't use an offset wrench. And of course we need a set of feeler gauges, although really you only need one feeler gauge, and that's 15 thousandths to do all the T-types. Now let's take a look at the cam. Now the camshaft has a relationship between the lobes. Here we got the number one lobe straight up, the number eight lobe is straight down. Here the number two lobe is straight up, the number, number seven lobe is straight down. Here we've got the number three lobe straight up, the number six lobe is straight down, and here, if I can do it, the number four lobe is straight up, and the number five lobe is straight down. So there is a relationship between the lobes, one to seven, or that is one to eight, two to seven, etc. Let's take a look at the action of the engine over two complete revolutions. Remember it takes two complete revolutions to make the engine fire on all four cylinders. We're all only looking at, at one, uh, one cylinder's action here. Our inlet valve opens at 56 degrees before bottom dead center, closes at 16 degrees after top dead center, so it's open for 180 degrees between here and here this being 360, there's 180. It's open for 56 degrees here and 16 here. That gives us 252 degrees that the valve is open. Now between these marks we have 720 degrees. So this valve is open 252 degrees of 720, which means it's closed for 468. Why do I show you this? Let's go to the engine and we'll adjust the valves. I'll explain why. All right, so now we've got our spark plugs in place, and we can watch that every time we bump the engine over, two valves are always open. These two valves, you'll see, are open. Next time, these two valves are open. Next time, these two valves are open. Lastly, these two valves are open. I showed you that the, that the valve is closed 400 and some degrees of engine rotation so even though the workshop manual says adjust number one with number eight fully open number eight doesn't have to be fully open he can be just a little bit open and we can adjust number one so we adjust opposite valves based on this line of symmetry because of that relationship that the cam lobes have and we can remember that the valve which is open added to the valve to be adjusted always equals nine so here's our 15 thousandths feeler. We can crack our valve loose here at the front. Put our feeler gauge in. Adjust, adjust it so there's some drag. Tighten down our lock nut. It's adjusted. We take this guy who is missing his adjuster nut, which must have fallen down inside the sump. So I added up 8 by 1 metric nut, because remember the inside of the engine is, is always metric. I got a drag on that, and we're getting there, and this guy's snug. Okay, so two valves are adjusted. Now, we can adjust opposite two valves. The opposite of number 4 is number 5, so we'll adjust him. If I can get the feeler gauge in there. These guys are all seem a little bit loose. I know the TF says adjust, adjust it to 12 thousandths. You can do that. I like 15. I use 15 on TCs, TDs, TFs, and MGAs and early Bs up through the introduction of the 18V engine. Number 7 is open. Therefore, we adjust number 2. Get this guy done.
should always adjust the valves hot. This engine hasn't run in 20 years, so it isn't hot. One and three are open. The option number one is number eight. We're almost done here. This is the fastest valve adjustment you've seen in a while. Not quite as fast as my U-joint, which uh, if Andrew has a chance, maybe we'll take a picture of it. Maybe I can beat my five minutes. There's number eight. The opposite of number three is number six, because three plus six equals nine. This is harder to do when you're doing an MGC, and you got uh, 12 valves to do it once, but we'll do that, well, probably not tomorrow, but sometime. And lastly, we bump our engine over once more. Two and five are open. The opposite of two is seven. Adjust number seven. We're coming up here soon to the end of our uh, video, and we're coming up to the end of having these valves adjusted. Seven's adjusted. The opposite of five is four, because four plus five equals nine. And now we'll go ahead and adjust our valves here. That's pretty good. That is okay, and if we can go through and just quickly double check. Always double check your work. And bingo, our valves are adjusted. It's easy, you can do it at home. See you guys tomorrow.